video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at optimizing our web pages using Rank Math. There are stacks and stacks of different plugins that you can use for optimizing your web pages. I just find that Rank Math is one of the best for WordPress. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get into it, okay? First thing what we need is we need to come into Rank Math. I'm going to assume that you've already set up Rank Math at this stage, okay? It's super simple. Go do the plugins, search for Rank Math, and then go through the process of setting it up, okay? Now I'm just going to say we're in here. It's all set up. Now we're going to optimize it, okay? So first thing, paste your article into Rank Math. Now you would have written this article yourself. You would have gotten this article created by somebody, or you would have got ChatGPT or Google Bard to actually do it. If you want to find out how to create really good articles with Google Bard, make sure that you check out the training I leave linked here as well on Google Bard article writing for blogs. It's super good. Um, all right, so what we, we can see here is we know what Rank Math looks like. It's kind of like we got this here. We got all this red and we want to turn it as green as possible. Okay. So the first thing, first thing always, after you paste it in your article, none of it's been optimized. We want to put in our keyword. Okay. So our keyword for this is how to overcome common, common blogging challenges. Okay. So that's the first thing that you notice. So we have up to 50 out of a hundred. Now, if I delete this out of here, as you can see, it goes down to 12. All right. So as you can see, this has gone green. Hooray, hooray, you're using a focus keyword in your SEO title, okay? Now, that basically means that we're using a focus keyword actually in here, you see? So how to overcome common blocking challenges. So when you look into the snippet here, uh, I always delete this out of here, okay? I really do, I just don't have that in there. So I just paste it in like that. And I'll tell you why in a couple of moments, but we'll leave it as it is right now for the time being, okay? Next of all, what we want to do is we want to insert a permalink, okay? So we're just going to put the keyword in there as well, all right? And as you can see, it's made it to be a link, all right? So if I click off of here, what you'll see is the keyword should actually be in the URL now. So if I save this as a draft, as you can see, it's gone up to 54, okay? And it's gone focus keyword using the URL, okay? Now what it's saying is focus keyword is not found in your SEO meta description. So we go back in here, we got to put our focus keyword in here, okay? So as you can see, it's gone up to 56 now. So, okay, so there we go. As you can see here, it's up to 56. I just made a quick description in here, including our main keyword, okay? So it's always good to just have your main keyword copied so you can go through this process. Next thing it says, your focus keyword doesn't appear at the beginning of your content, okay? So you wanna have your focus keyword within the first 100 words of your content. Now, this is where you're gonna to have to edit your content a little bit if it's not there already. So are you eager to share your thoughts, ideas, and experiences with the world through blogging? Do you dream of establishing yourself as a thought leader in your niche and connecting with a global audience? While well, the prospect of blogging seems exciting, it's important to be aware of the common challenges that can derail your blogging journey. So get ready to overcome these Oh, so get ready to learn how to overcome these common blogging challenges. How to overcome, how to overcome common blogging challenges. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, there's our keyword and it's gone up to 62 here. So we're all good in here. Our content is 1,383. Okay, so that's, that's a good start for us. Next of all, what we want to do is your focus keyword is not found in your H2, H3s or anything like that. So what we want to do is first thing, we want to actually set up our H2s, okay? So these are going to be the titles of your article, okay? So the, the subtopics within your article. So first off, we're just going to go to that. We're going to go H2. Then this is a H3 because it's underneath there. We're going to go H2, H3. So you know that the H3 fits underneath the H2. Tips for narrowing down is still going to be in that part of it here. Uh, next of all, we go to number two. Okay, I like to number my uh, my uh, headings as well. It's better for actually grabbing the featured snippet from Google. Uh, number three, and then we go to number four. We go to number five, and we go number six, and then we're going to go to number seven. And all right, so that's cool. All right, so that's that's the first lot of that. Now it's saying that your focus keyword is not found there. So we're going to put our focus keyword in here. Okay, so our focus keyword is building a loyal audience. 
we can look for a place that we can actually put it in. So I'm just going to choose one of the H3s, okay? And how to come over overcome common blogging challenges like how to find your niche, okay? And so what you'll notice here, focus keyword found in your subheading. Okay, so that's really good as well. So the next thing it says, we need to add an image in here. So I'm just going to add any image in here, guys, but I recommend you adding a multiple images within your content. Okay, so we're just going to check in the media library. I'm going to grab it, stick it in here, and we're going to click on that. Okay. And we're going to put in how to overcome common blogging challenges. Okay, so that's our main keyword. We want to put it in there. Now, I'd recommend that you see this. So let's have a look. So let's imagine that this is the start of the article. You've got your image here. As you scroll down, by the time you reach here, you really want to be seeing another image here. Okay. So there should be another image in there, and that could be a permutation of your main keyword. Okay. And then scroll down, and there should be another image. And there should be another, there should be like about four or five images within this post. And this post is only 1,390 words long. Okay. So you can, the more images you can put in there, the better it is, not only for engagement, but ease of reading. Okay. You break up the text with images and media with bullet points, all these lovely things. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look at keyword density is a bit low. Okay. So this means basically how many times your main keyword is actually being said uh versus the amount of words that are actually in the article so then what you're going to do is you're going to go throughout your article and look where you can utilize your main keyword in there now i don't this is one of the things on rank math that to be honest it it isn't it's important but it isn't too important and you don't want to be going too mad with it okay so you want i want to add it in maybe three or four more times and that's it total okay so that's what i'm going to do now Okay, so what I've done is I've gone and put it in another five times, okay, or another six times. And as you can see, it's kind of like come to this color here. So now what we're up at is we're up at 70. The next thing we want to do is we want to link out to an external uh, resource, okay? One of the good things to actually link out to is is great authoritative properties, okay? So let's say that we have um, some of the problems in here is niche, overcoming challenges, generating promoting your blog content, tracking and measuring your success, okay? So one of the things about tracking and measuring your success will be Google Analytics. So I just go to Google and I'd search for Google Analytics, okay? I'm going to grab that. And Google Analytics is super important because you've got to be able to track and analyze your success. And that's one of the things that we're talking about in here. So by tracking these metrics using Google Analytics, let me give a link to Google Analytics. Okay. As you can see, it's going to jump up now. We're up to 75. Then we want to link to uh, an internal link. And now this could be something related to, let's go SEO. If there's anything in here. Okay. You can use SEO techniques to help build your blog. Then we want to, I, I prefer to put a link, an internal link closer up to the top here. So let's see if there's anything related to SEO in here, finding your niche, um, create targeted content, focus on a specific niche you can tailor. Um, okay, so this this makes your blog more relevant. And then we could just say, like, I know an article on my site, you can check out how Google card for SEO can help with this, okay? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to link to this article because it's relevant to finding my niche, okay? So Google Bard, find Google Bard for SEO, okay? So it's going to link out. So as you can see, we're at 80. So the next thing it basically is, it's asked me, do I want to use content AI to optimize the post? And we're not going to do that, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at your title doesn't contain a positive or negative sentiment and your title doesn't contain a number. Okay, so what we can do is let's focus first on the number, how to overcome blogging challenges in 2024. Okay, boom. All right, so what we are now is we are green. All right, because I added a number to the to the title that's given us that now here's the thing you 80 and above when it goes green like that that's perfect to post okay there is no issues with you posting uh or having to get 80 or 85 90 anything like that you don't need to do that those things will come from just actually optimizing the post a little bit more adding more bullets into it adding media into it 
But 81, if you get to that, pat yourself on the back. You should be super happy. You've done everything pretty much in the right way. But what it says about title now, your title doesn't contain a positive or negative sentiment word. And it gives you some information on this, okay? So what we can do is we can look at some words, power words, positive words. Let's go positive, control F, positive, positive. Okay, so let's see if there are any positive words we can put in here. Let's see. All right, positive words. Uh, list of positive. Um, okay, so what I did was I found a keyword that would fit into my title here. Okay, now, so what I've got is I've got a number and I've also got one of these positive sentiment keywords. Okay, so how to overcome blogging challenges in 2024, champ. Okay, <laughs> so it was the only one on quick uh, that I could actually see that would fit in there. But that's it, guys. It's it's super simple to optimize posts. You shouldn't be spending very long with them. Like it'll get much quicker um, as you go through it. But take your time. Enjoy it. You know, the better that you optimize your posts, um, utilizing Rank Math or All-in-One SEO or Yoast, the, the better a likelihood of them being picked up online and ranking in the search engine. So anyway, look, I hope you've enjoyed this. My name's Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. And talk to you in the next video. Oh, give it a like if you liked it.